So I'm Maria Duenas. I'm well. I will be 18 years old in two days. And yes, I'm from Spain, and I play the violin since I'm six years old. Right now, I'm living in Vienna to continue my musical studies. And yes, it's such a pleasure being here in Luxembourg for the first time and it feels like coming home after such a long um, time without concerts and without being in contact with an orchestra and with a conductor. So yes, it's going to be really a pleasure and I'm really looking forward to the concert. My family, my parents have been really a, a great source of support this whole time um, because I'm studying in Vienna um, for continuing my, my studies. And yes, that's why without my parents, I wouldn't be where I am now. I feel music and the violin is already a part of me. It's already a part of my body. So the first time I played with orchestra, is, I think I was um, 10 years old. Yeah, 9, 10 years old. It was in, in Granada, in my city, in the hall of my city, Manuel de Falla. Um, so yes, I remember I played uh, the Mozart Concerto number one. And yeah, it felt really, really great to be on stage. Since then it's like um, home, it's like my natural form of life, being on stage with an orchestra. Yeah, I really love this concerto because it feels like um, I'm in a roller coaster the whole time because there are full of contrasts um, in the concert. I'm looking forward to playing this concert especially here, yeah. A real pleasure to play on this wonderful instrument, uh, which is a Guarneri del Gesù. And yes, thanks to the Nippon Music Foundation, I have the pleasure to play on it. And I really feel connected to this violin in a very special way um, because it allows me to express my feelings and my emotions in a really um, real way. So I think that's really important to have an instrument you feel very comfortable with, yes. So yeah, so it's the first time I meet uh, Gustavo Jimeno. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of him because we are both from Spain, from the same country. And yes, I'm looking forward to playing with him um, in the rehearsal. It was really, really everything was going very well. So yeah, I'm really happy. I got to hear about Maria Duenas for the first time about two years ago there was the eventual possibility of working with a Spanish artist, and my agent suggested her. I had never heard of her until that moment. Finally, this concert didn't take place, and I kind of lost track. I didn't hear any more from her in a couple of years. And the next time was this last summer. I read about her playing in the Granada Festival, in the International Granada Festival, she played for sure one concert. Some friends of mine were in the audience. They told me about her. I read some reviews and, and articles, and I immediately became very interested, and I made the link between back then and this last summer. I know also Daniel Barenboim was that evening, she was playing in Granada, listening to her, and I know they were talking to each other also after the concert. So, and then, as I became very interested and very curious, I watched her in some videos and I heard some recordings and I had a strong feeling that I would like to meet her and to make music together. So that why, that's, that's why I'm happy that that finally took place and even earlier than I had imagined. Um, I think there has to be a, a sort of 
connection between the conductor, for example. Um, I think um, both conductor and the soloists have to be able um, to understand each other without words and to hear and to communicate with, with the music practically. So I think that's, yeah, that's not always like that and I think that's really the most important thing. I realized as, as I had the opportunity to invite a soloist for this concert, the idea of Maria Duñas came immediately in my mind for several reasons. One is obviously her capacity uh, as a musician, but I thought it was going to be also interesting for me, but also for my colleagues, not only the musicians on stage, but also of the staff, to have a soloist which, with us which we don't know, who is young, who is going to develop a lot, and which is absolutely worth to listen to. And I feel proud of this, proud of creating the opportunity for someone to grow. It's, it's, a, it's enriching for us to be part of it, but I also feel proud that we contribute to her life in an active way. So I hope this will be the first of more collaborations in the future. Of course, there are differences between making music with soloists who, who have a long career and who are extremely experienced and which are in many cases even older than myself. This is a situation which is particular for me because I get to work with many soloists who are a little younger or my age or older. So this is quite exceptional for me, but obviously why we are working together is because she's extremely gifted and talented and a great violinist and a great musician, no, no doubt of that. And I was very much looking forward to make music together. But somehow psychologically it's interesting because you realize someone so talented and gifted but being so young can do a lot and a lot wonderful and a lot great, but you are also somehow aware of the fact that being so young you didn't have so much time to collect many experiences in your life. Not only to collect experiences by the sake of it, but enough experiences to, to grow as person, as musician. So in a way it's striking to see someone, someone so young and so mature and, and playing so well.